I just like to comment. There was a, a one gentleman um, somewhere along here. I, I think it was this gentleman right here. I want to say with the beard, but that's probably all of you. Uh, <laughs> right here, uh, that lived in uh, property in Lawley. Yeah, and uh, I also lived. Uh, I, I grew up uh, right down Cracker Six, uh, 600 yards from New Lawley, and uh, spent a lot of my time as a kid. Swimming in ponds out there, running from employees because <laughs> they chase you off the property. And we just, my grandparents bought their property there in 1958. And we drank water out of the tap and we drank water out of the hose. And we spent, you know, many, many years out there growing up. And again, uh, working at Kingsley Lake at Strickland's Landing for many years. Um, I've asked folks out there that I know that have been there for a long time what kind of an impact Camores or even DuPont before that has had on Kingsley Lake. And every one of them said they, they can't think of one adverse impact that they had on that lake. Not one. Okay? You got Blue Pond that's out on Camp Landing that also has not been impacted. And it's probably one of the most stable lakes in the state of Florida. Okay? So, again, just being and having that experience and growing up out there and the mine right there in Lawley off of 125 uh, that had been there. My grandparents' home, they actually bought that home. It was supposed to be a DuPont retreat. And my grandfather made an offer on that place and he bought it and it was going to be a retreat for DuPont employees to gather together as family, just like they do today. And I just, I, I, I think it's important that I mention that because even now living over off of Northeast 17th Avenue, uh, I'm very close to that area and also the proposed mining area. And, you know, again, I have not seen any impacts from that. And, you know, what I have seen is I've seen, uh, just as we spoke about before, 70 years of families that have worked and that have bought property, that have paid taxes in Bradford County. Their wages have gone to Bradford County. They've sent their children to school in Bradford County and even to college to earn degrees. So I, I, I think it's important to share that with all of you uh, because again, uh, you know, I, my parents, my aunts and uncles, you know, all of my cousins, you know, I'm just, I'm thankful to God we're all healthy, but we all drank the same water. And I, I, I don't know how close you live to the facility. About 600 yards from the DuPont camp. And I was probably just about the same. So anyway, I, I want to share that. And um, I think we should also, um, Discuss that uh, as far as notification, if this was for a telecommunications tower, the only person that would be here tonight would be the landowner. So to say that there was nothing, that, to say that they, that they didn't know about this, no, 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 no. it was recognized and it was noticed. So a typo, there was a typo in there. But again, you're not, you wouldn't be here tonight if you thought this was for telecom telecommunications tower. So I, I, I just want to say that. And uh, so anyway, that's all I have to say as far as my We're here despite that. Ma'am, we're not doing that. Public comments time has, has come and gone. It's the commissioner's time to talk. And two, I would like to echo on what Mr. Daltrey just said. My wife was raised up. My them, uh, my, both of my sons is raising a family a quarter of a mile from the levee. I mean, they've drunk that water, they're healthy as horses. I mean, no problem. DuPont's did a lot for this county and Gamora Town. Uh, that's all I have to say. I appreciate it. Yeah, like I say something. Um, I know this is going to be a tough decision. I've seen a lot of people come before this podium tonight 
a lot of them I've coached against. A lot of the younger boys were actually on my team. Um, I'm the commissioner of District 4. You go into my district, ask anybody that lives on uh, Brooklyn Lake or Bedford Lake, Geneva Lake, why their lakes are down, and the first thing they're going to say is because of the mining. Yeah. Whether it's true or not, if you're in that district, go and campaign and argue with one of them and see what happens. Um, so like I said, this is going to be a very, very tough decision for me, because like I said, I, I recognize most of these guys in here, and I know we all need jobs. And um, but the one thing that, that does stick in mind as I was listening to every one of the comments, I want to make sure that this is totally transparent no matter what decision I make. And I want to make sure that I'm doing my due diligence to make sure that I make the best decision that I possibly can. And right from the start, if we're starting out and people are saying that they weren't notified properly, whether they were or whether they weren't, I just remember when we were doing the, um, talking about the other mining situation, uh, North Central Florida Regional Planning Council came in here and told us to make sure that we gave at least 90 days prior notice. The only thing I would say, board, if, if you're asking me what I would like to see done, a couple things, I would like to see this meeting tabled for 90 days which would, I was sitting here figuring in my head, that's actually gonna put us around Christmas time. So it would probably be better the first of the year, January, move to a bigger facility so that everybody can be in this meeting. And, um, and also um, get more research and again, do our due diligence to make sure we make the right choice. Um, I'm not saying I'm for it or against it, but I know where a lot of the heat is going to come. And as for the commissioner of District 4, and um, like I said, because a lot of the people that are talking here tonight were from Lottie, which again, I know them, and um, there's no dry lakes in Lottie, but there's a lot of dry lakes in the south end of the county. Uh, that's all I have to say. I'd like, I really would like us to um, table it, give them proper 90 days notice, make sure everybody's up and up, especially with social media presenting this meeting. If we do that, it will be out to everybody. Everybody will have a fair chance to review it for themselves, come and make the comments need to be made so that we can make a, a choice to benefit all the citizens of Bradford County. That's, that's my, my take. I, I really, you know, I really think that, that we need to not do this at this point. I, I don't know. I think that we could, we could, I think that if, if we would do it right uh, and not have to go back and come through this again, mm -hmm. I, th I think that, uh, that would be it. That's, that's my, my thoughts. Let me just address a couple of things. I've had the privilege to spend a lot of time on, on the reclaimed property. I've seen timber harvested on property that was reclaimed and replanted years ago. Uh, I see pine straw being harvested at this present time. Uh, places have been clear cut, long leaf plugs have been replanted, flourishing, doing well. So I, I don't think that reclamation process is wrong. I think what they're doing is correct. Um, I, I see it too much. I see what's going on. Uh, so, but at this time we've got to make a decision. So what is the pleasure of the board? Mr. Chairman, if I could ask uh, Mr. Sexton, uh, if you could address the notification uh, topic that we're speaking of. Yes, sir. Uh, there are two notice, well, three notice requirements. There, there are the notice requirements that there are contained in Florida law. It's my opinion that the Florida law notice requirements for tonight's meeting were met. There's the notice requirement concerning the advertisement in the newspaper. The advertisement in the newspaper ran three times, which is an additional time 
one more time than was required by our land development regulations. The notice that ran in the newspaper stated the correct date, the correct time, the correct location. It stated that the application was for a 14.6 special mining permit application on two occasions in the description. And it offered the public an opportunity to call and ask questions and inquire about <coughs> the application if they had any. Mr. Andrews has indicated to me that folks did call his office and I think we've heard the public comment tonight indicate that a number of folks called his office and, and provided, were provided with clarification. The purpose, the legal purpose of that, of the notice is to provide the public an opportunity to show up, hear what's presented, and comment. Everyone that's here tonight showed up, had an opportunity to hear what was presented, and had an opportunity to comment. So it's, and I believe that requirement was met. The third requirement, notice requirement, is that the property be posted. That requirement comes from 14.6 directly. Mr. Andrews posted the property with, well, not the property, but locations around the property with bright orange signs as is required by the LDR to provide additional notice to the public about tonight's hearing. It stated the correct date, it stated the correct time, it stated 14.6 special permit for mining. So it's my opinion that the notice and procedural requirements for tonight's hearing, both in Florida law and your Bradford County Code of Ordinances, were met. Okay, Mr. Andrews, 